Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for part number 14 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Get to work, so oh my goodness, what um what feedback <laughs> from Christina or Christine, sorry, being pregnant here. So many of you have your opinions on the matter and I appreciate every single one of them. I for one, um, like I said, hope that they don't get back together, but again, um, anything is really possible but I don't know um, she actually some of you think that she is just using this baby as a way to get back into his arms and get back into his life yeah she does um, she did bring 56 grand to the household and things of that sort but it's not our money um, <clears throat> necessarily but it could be enough just to keep Ace uh around i don't know anyway it is about 6 30 on a friday night he is gonna go ahead and um kind of clean up a little bit go to the bathroom eat that sort of thing i have my mic in a new location but like it's like seriously right in front of my um what are you doing thank you like <laughs> it's right in front of my um uh, the little thingy here so it's kind of hard to see. And I think Christine, yep, she's getting sick. She is so freaking nauseous. Um, she is just about to be in her third tri- No, wait. No. Oh, my God. She's going to be in her second trimester, you guys, in eight hours. And she's already kind of huge. That is a little insane in the membrane. All righty. Nyla here. She is going to uh, go and maybe call um, Nicholas. I think her and Nicholas should go hang out for a little bit. So I want to see if maybe he wants to go somewhere. Um, you guys want me to also change her trait from being evil to maybe something else. <clears throat> I could agree with that. I totally could agree with that. Um, I think we could probably just go to Nicholas's house for a little bit. So let's just do that instead. Um, that way, that way uh, we don't have to really go anywhere. And we can go see what what he's doing and where he lives. So um, I'm going to let these two kind of chat it up. I mean, they seem to be getting along fine. But again, you know, he really does like Stella. And some of you are just like, ah, oh, just leave Stella behind. Like, why even let it phase you at this point? But that's kind of the thing. He, holy crap. <laughs> the Yazimoto clan are freaking loaded, you guys. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, he, I don't know how to say it. He. You guys want me to leave Stella alone, but he is like infatuated with that girl. So I don't know what the hell is going to happen. She has a house and things like that. I think he's off on Saturday or maybe even Sunday it is. I can't really remember, but I think we probably will go over there and visit her. So this is Nicholas's house. It is humongous. Could you imagine if we like married into this family? Like we would be uber rich like look at this place it is seriously freaking stunning it is absolutely oh my god it is beautiful like how is this even possible i don't know all right so let's go ahead and knock on the door really fast and see if he'll let us inside mm -mm. Uh, where does she go oh she's gonna go knock on the back door why would you knock on the back door? Oh, she totally cut through the back. All right, I was going to say, I don't think you can fit through there, girl, but <laughs> Nyla's pretty skinny. She can fit through just about anywhere. And uh, you guys were asking me about her clothes. <sighs> she does have the, this outfit, and then she has this outfit. But for some strange reason, she keeps changing her outfits into um, the original one. Okay, so this is uh, Nicholas's sister. Uh, her name is Sak Sakura. I'm not exactly sure how do you say her name, but anyway, uh, I think this is their other daughter, Ramona, and their son, Blake. So those are the um, family members of the Yashimoto clan. Here is a Nicholas over here. Uh, we're going to go and give him a heartfelt compliment and brighten up his day a little bit. I hate the location of this microphone. It is driving me bonkers, so I got to move it. It's like I can't even see the freaking screen. So here we go. Excuse me. All right. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me the same it's just we're not going to be having this like right in front of my freaking eyeballs because i can't really see all right thumbs up seven up all right what are we gonna talk about dollhouses you have a thing for dollhouses well do you oh do you boo boo do you boo boo do you boo 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 all right so i want to see if he has any sort of career or anything what is he doing with his life uh he is a high school student at buckham high bucking buckingham what are we a high school student at I don't know, but he is flippin' cute. 
All right, let me just go ahead and chat with him a little bit more. Ask if he's single uh, and ask about his day and things and of that sort. So we can go ahead and like kind of snoop around their house a little bit more. This place is freaking gorgeous and massive. I love it. Oh, I would love to live here. Look, they even have like a workout room. Oh my God. Where was this one thing at? Okay, wow. Like seriously, wow. Super freaking gorgeous. Like, how loaded could you possibly be? I don't know. But we're going to just kind of spend a couple more minutes with him and chat with him a little bit, tell him a funny story, and show off our outfit. Um, I just want to learn a little bit more about you, Nicholas. I don't think we know anything. Oh, we know that he's a genius, so that's perfect. Um, we can also do an impression. And I uh, just, like I said, I really don't want to force the... The romance on to poor Nicholas it reminds me of um, Niklaus, or it might even be Niklaus, I don't know, uh, from the originals, by the way. Oh my god, Daddy Papa Smooth Skin. Oh, wait, he is so damn hot. Okay, I will just spend a couple more minutes with um, him, let her interact and stuff. Let's go back to the house and see how that all is. Uh, when you guys gave me a suggestion of possibly running the store, like having them live upstairs and then just run the store like that, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not. But um, tomorrow I'll have Christine probably go and um, set up that the store a little bit with some of the goodies and things that we have. She needs... Okay, so I do agree, since we're not going to like have a relationship with her, we do need to give her her own space and um, for now anyways. And we have the money, so that's not like we can't do it. I didn't realize she brought in so much stuff and all of her furniture too as well. So if we went and sold everything, by the way, which I don't know how we would do that, actually. Let me see. All right, so let's just go and sell everything. And we'll make some serious bankaroo. And we're just going to sell, like, all these windows and all that stuff. So, oh, my God. Look at all of this money we are earning. <gasps> ah! It's like, oh, my gosh. It is crazy. We've got a lot of money from all this. We should have just sold the furniture originally, but I don't know why I didn't. Sorry for the clicking. It's probably super freaking annoying, but we're almost done. We're almost there. Okay. There was probably a bed in there, huh? Okay, well, whatever. All right, so we got everything. That leaves us 73000 When we go and get her a new place, by the way, we'll have some money left over, uh, which is nice. But I'm going to go and put her in. Uh, let me see what kind of bed. Uh, we'll just get her whatever. And something kind of cozy, and we'll use this here. And we'll do um, something that kind of matches. But again, that's kind of girly. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. All right. So we got that. Let's go and get an end table as well and place that next to it. We'll do this guy here. Okay. And a light uh, naturally. And then uh, I don't know how long she's going to stay once she's had the baby. Again, I just don't know what her plans are. Um, and, you know, freaking Ace feels so damn responsible for her, which is slightly insane because he shouldn't. It's, I mean, he should. Okay, he should. But at the same time, it's not necessarily his responsibility solely. So you wanted to help Nyla out with the homework, um, some homework. And he's, he's feeling um, a little under the weather here. So I'm going to actually uh, go ahead and put away some of these books and I want to, I do really want to go see Stella, actually, like, pretty, pretty bad. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see if it's too late to go and visit her house. So let's go and travel. We're going to go visit her. He's just having a really hard time being here. Nyla's out with Nicholas, and he's all by himself with his wifey. So, you know, that can be a little awkward. It can be just a little awkward. And, you know, again, this is kind of like a... I don't know how to put it, but it's kind of like a really screwed up situation to say the least because he doesn't know. I think it just hit Kimberly Gray's house. Dude, oops, wrong girl, wrong chica. I don't remember where Stella lives. That's the issue. So I'll have to, I know we're going to go to Kimberly Gray's house, but hey, Kim, hey, right? Let's just add another notch to our belt. Before it gets later, though, we probably need to like figure out where we're headed. Uh, we may even actually just stay at Stella's for the night and then tell the morning because I don't think he works. No, he does. He works. He just has um, he has Sunday off. So that's good. We can run the store on Sunday um, or we can have Nyla and Christine run the store tomorrow when he goes to work. We don't have to like go to work with him um, and then that way we can kind of 
do a little store action. All right, this is, I don't remember. Okay, if that's not Stella, oh, I know where she lives, you guys. I'm like trying to think to myself, where the hell would I put an, <coughs> an alien? Obviously, we got to do a little traveling to Oasis Springs. I'm not going to lie to you, though. I really do miss The Sims 3 days when you'd be able to get in your little car, your sweet ride, your, your hot ride, and you'd be able to drive over to Miss Hottie Tatty's house. It would feel a little more authentic, um, to be honest. But I don't know. The Sims 3 glitch is so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad. It makes me want to, like, throw it out the freaking window. Like, I hate it sometimes. Actually, I don't hate it, but it drives me nuts. Where are you? What do you mean you're not home? What? I'm going to go ransack you, Gabbage. Let's go rummage. We're going to rummage through the... I mean, we're a cop, right? Like, are you cheating on me, boo-boo? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, so now we're going to stink. All right, we're going to wait for her. Like, literally, Ace, this makes sense, right? We are rummaging through her garbage. We need proof that we think she's an alien. So many of you were like, we already know she's an alien. Yeah, we know that, but he don't. He thinks she's crazy. He think, you know, it's her way of, like, flirting with him. At least, yeah, you got to pick up the evidence, Ace, and you got to go throw it away. Okay, so we got that. All right, is there anything here that we can collect or anything quite like that? Um, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything that we could actually grab. I'm not seeing it. Okay, so let's go back over to the lot and invite her over. Um, obviously, we're going to invite her to her own house, which is a little odd, but I don't know. I just want to... I want to get to know her more. I don't know what his captivation with her is, but I don't know. He's in a really hard spot. It's kind of hard to say or hard to uh, dictate where, where we can't even hang out with her. What the hell? What? I mean, seriously. All right. Well, we're just going to go send her a text then. What? I'm sleeping. No, you're not. You're not even. You are such a liar. You're not even in your house. What do you mean you are sleeping? You're such a freaking mentirosa. And there's nobody home. Whatever. Okay, go screw yourself. I tried. Okay, you know, I ain't got time for all this. Um, What time is it right now? It's time to go to bed. Okay, so we're going to have... He's going to go nap. I guess we're going to go home, you guys. There isn't much to do here anyway, and that kind of sucks. He's he's walking. He's doing the walk of shame right now. Feels kind of um, dissed by, by Stella a little bit, you know, with her lying about her being there. She's not even there. Whatever. That's fine. Where do you think she is? Probably at her boyfriend's house, huh? Mm-hmm. Stella. Or she could be in the galaxy somewhere doing whatever she do, riding UFOs. I don't know. <laughs> getting probed good 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 what 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 i don't even know i don't even know all right so where the hell is nyla at these days though all right she needs to get over here she needs to come home all right so here's nyla she's freaking exhausted as well um we're gonna go and uh, um we are gonna express our admiration to our father she is just feeling like so proud of him right now but he doesn't have the heart to tell her that he is not going to stay with her. It's just, you know, a little, a little, uh, a little rough to be able to kind of express that to your teenager that you're not going to stay with their parents' mom, but whatever. Um, or their parents' mom, their mom, or just, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's early. Just give me a break. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and uh, speed in through the night, and I will see you all in the morning. Okay, guys. So long time no see, and welcome to our brand new boutique. Yes, Christine kind of went muy loco and spent all the money that she had to get a new place in order to make her daughter happy. Now, you may think this is a ploy to, you know, oops I'm out of money I have to stay Ace. or you know a ploy to kind of woo over her daughter and you know I don't know what the hell Christine is thinking I actually do think she may have lost her marbles so um, as you can see, we are now a boutique, um, and until Nyla can really, you know, beef up her photography skill and stuff, I think this is a really good way for us to make some money. As you can see, our artwork and random things are placed here, um, but it's just a, it's just a good way to 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 kind of do something in the meantime. Um, our clothes are very expensive. We have a 50% markup. We're a boutique. We're not, you know, the thrift store. <laughs> so as you can imagine, we do have a little. Um, a little a little bit of a struggle to sell these items up here is just kind of a 
uh, general area that we can um, relax, take a shower, like our living spaces. And then with the door mod um, where the doors are locked, nobody will be able to come inside. But we also have some clothes and stuff up here down this hallway for anybody who's interested. So our store is filling up quite quickly. Uh, we do have um, retail funds of two ninety six. What I'm thinking of doing is kind of um, purchasing some advertisement. We're going to do a short term a short term or long term let's do a long term ad boost here okay and as you can see people are trying on our clothes again i need a name for the boutique so you guys are gonna have to go ahead and kind of give me one here ace is off to work by the way so um that's pretty pretty damn exciting uh i would hire an employee um just because we do have the the money to do so all right so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of greet up these customers here there are a few people coming in, which is awesome. Okay, and I feel like this feels a little bit more like a store. Uh, Nyla is very happy. She's always wanted to be a business order, owner. And also her stuff is still on display, so she can take more pictures and things of that sort as well. Um, okay, so Nyla has just launched a ad campaign. Web advertising provides a quick initial rush of customers, but... Uh, trails off by the end of the campaign. TV advertising provides a consistent increase of customers for its duration. However, it won't be, it won't reach the same heights as, oh, web advertising. Okay. All right. Um, what I can do is just see about, you know, kind of chatting up these customers here. I don't know what Christine is doing. She's feeling kind of uncomfortable. She can go ahead and grab something to eat, which I think she's going to go do anyways. Nyla's going to handle all these customers, which makes me believe that we probably do need um, some sort of assistance. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do this without any assistance whatsoever. Like I said, I'm going to give it a go. This is pretty easy just to sit down and like chat with people. <laughs> We're just lining up all of our ducks in a row. And uh, I did download this um, boutique off of the gallery. Let me go ahead and just show you guys. So it's the retail boutique updated. Um, I don't. Yeah, I need a name. So you guys can go ahead and leave me a name. I was thinking maybe Culver's Culver's clothes or Col Culver clothers or something like that. Um but I'm not exactly certain on what. I, it's a boutique, so it's kind of a higher end uh, place to shop as it is. You know, we've got a lot of formal wear. We've got a lot of just nice clothes, nice, 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 nice things. Um, so it would kind of make sense that we would uh, have a kind of a, a rich, a, a bougie name, a bougie name. Yeah, we could do like Culver's Couture. Ooh, I kind of like that. So everything's kind of on sale. And um, I think I am going to go and hire maybe a um, somebody to help us out. I don't really know, though. All right. So let's go over here and um, purchase. Let's manage. OK, let's manage the, uh, the employees. We are going to hire one employee like we can financially afford it. We just need somebody who's going to do their damn job. OK, and it's going to make our life easier. Um. All right, so we've got Lewis Landers. We're going to need somebody who's pretty um, good at selling. Work ethic, amazing sales. Mm -hmm. um, or Derek. I love her. I really love Courtney, but she just doesn't seem to have the skills. Okay, so $34 an hour. He's pretty damn crazy, uh, to be honest. But uh, his work ethic. All right. All right, we'll just go with this guy. I think we have hired him before. But, um, Fire Lewis, Demote Lewis, Promote Lewis. Oh, okay. All right. So, I don't know if Lewis is going to come in to work. Um, okay. He will, he will arrive probably tomorrow, which is good. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of help out with the customers a little bit. Um, of course, Nyla is fighting with the other customer. <laughs> which makes total sense because they're both, um, they are both what you would call it uh evil so i don't know i don't think anybody is really interested in buying anything quite yet okay so this guy is ready to buy now what is he buying i do not know i'm gonna go have her ring up the customer uh let's go and chat with bailey a little bit too as well 
Okay. I think she's just about ready to kind of close this deal here. Okay. I don't know what's going on. You need to go ring up the customer. Thank you. All right. So there's actually quite a few different people here. And, um... All right, so this guy's also ready to buy, but I don't know what the hell it is that they're buying. Nobody is buying any of my outfits, so I'm kind of assuming that probably they're not interested. I don't really know. So let's go have Nyla ring up this guy over here. His name is Hector Cass. All right, so instead of having Christine do all the jobs, if we can actually get a couple sales in here, and then we're going to look at our perks too and see what we have to offer or what we can buy. Um, all right, let's go bring up this guy over here. Do, do, do. We're going to try to also um, sell Bailey while we're at it. All right, looks like we've got another sale. I'm pretty excited. So far, we're doing actually really good. If I seem kind of like in into what I'm doing right now, that is because I am. Where did the guy go? He went upstairs, didn't he? Oh, we just sold that for 200 and 40 simoleons. Perfection. All right, so can we go ahead and ring him up, or is that, like, not? I don't know. I don't know if we can <coughs> ring him up. I thought he was buying. Maybe he isn't buying. Maybe it's somebody else who's buying. I can't really remember here. Where's Nyla going? Uh-oh. Oh, my God, Christine. She's actually throwing up at work right now. Super sick. Okay, uh, let's ring up this guy. I'm like getting um, like a frog in my throat. And, and look, she's actually back too. So let's go ahead and uh, let's um, answer her questions. Oh my gosh, everybody is wanting to buy things right now. It's kind of crazy. Um, okay, so stop doing that and go ring up the damn customers. I want to make sure Christine's doing what she's supposed to be doing right now. And I hope that we're not like losing any money. All right, so let's come back to her. And let's go bring up this guy. I believe, do believe there's another person who's ready to purchase as well. Okay, so I think we've got quite a few going on here. Oh, my God. Everybody is willing to, like, spend the ridiculous amounts of money. And I think this chick just got stuck. So let's go and kind of back her up a little bit. She got stuck behind the ottoman. <laughs> and now I don't think she wants to buy anymore. Or maybe she does. I don't know. We're doing pretty good. It's just that Christine is taking her sweet, precious, freaking time um, ringing up the customers. And I don't know why that is. All right. Come on. I'm getting, like, anxious. I'm getting so anxious because I feel like we're, we're wasting time here. Did he not buy? See? Because she's taking freaking forever is what's happening. All right. Let me see who else we got going on here. We got a whole bunch of customers to ring up. I'm about to have a freaking hernia. I swear. Okay, so ring him up. Ring her up. Anybody else that we need to ring up? Ooh, ooh. We need to... Ah! Stop! Okay. Oh, I just want to, like, punch somebody in the face right now. I'm getting so anxious. Okay, we got that person. No, let's stop ringing him up. Ring her up. Okay, come on, Christine. Come on, Christine. All right, whatever. We just lost him. Crap. I'm, like, dying here, you guys. How do you make this any easier? Okay, we actually are making pretty good money, believe it or not. So she bought that. Is there anybody else that's willing to purchase anything right now that we haven't rung up? Okay, I don't think so. Whew, that's kind of crazy, you guys, to be honest. Like, that is not so super nuts. So, obviously, these little coat things are pretty popular. Um, we're going to close the store, I think, right now. Just because we've been at it all day long. Um, I'm going to have Christine go ahead. And I'm actually going to let Nyla eat real quick. Uh, it's so busy, you guys. So super freaking busy today. Uh, I am going to have Nyla come over here and view the financial report. Um, and kind of see how we're doing and what we've sold. This guy looks like an easy lay down sale. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, wow, we actually made um, $1,500 today. Which is great. <laughs> Uh, I do kind of want to see if I can sell this guy here. Um, uh, cause he's just, he's really close to the top. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm really excited. Actually, we're doing pretty good. It's just hard to see if there's anybody upstairs is why I don't like necessarily having the things upstairs. Cause you can tell people are going up here. 
um, as well and looking at the clothes. So that kind of gets them excited. And like Jem obviously is trying to be like this chick here. So they go upstairs, try on the clothes. That's kind of exciting. Um, and let me see if there's anyone else that would be interested in buying anything. This girl keeps coming back, but she never buys it. crap. It's like, what are you doing with your life, dude? If you're going to come into my boutique, you must purchase. I don't know. All right, we're going to try to sell them out. Uh, she's got to go pee-pee. It's really, really quick. I'm going to have Nyla kind of run this, run this deal here really quick um, and see if, if, if maybe she gets lucky. Because I would like to sell one more thing before we leave. And then tomorrow we do have some help, so that will also really work out a bunch better. All right. I just want you to buy. Will you please buy, sir? Just pretty please with a cherry on top. <clears throat> just make my life so much easier, would you? It would really mean the world to me. It really would. Okay, cool. So he's ready to buy, so let's go ahead and ring him up. Uh, everybody's buying these clothing racks stuff. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and I was hoping we would close a little bit earlier, but let's just let's just do this now and um, And then we'll close the store unless someone else is ready. Okay, so we've got another person who wants to buy All right, so I, are you gonna buy this outfit Missy? Oh hell no, she is girl. She's sassy though. All right, so we'll ring her up next and then the, oh my god Everybody is buying things now What? All right, we need to have Christine uh, hurry her butt up and come down here. Nyla is taking her sweet time. She's actually just about done um, ringing up this guy. And then we're going to ring her up. And then, okay, Christine, you are good now. You need to get your butt down here and go ahead and ring up this customer. After this, we will indeed uh, close up shop. But Christine is taking her sweet time waddling downstairs. I was hoping it would be a little bit earlier. Um... Oh my gosh, she's pissed. No! What do you mean? Don't be mad. Okay, you're not mad anymore. Good. Okay, good. No, 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 no. Ring her up. What are you doing? You pinche stupida. No mames way. Yeah, please. Put your hands up in the air. See what happens, girl. Oh my god. What are you doing? Don't leave, please. Please, I need your body. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, let's go ring her up. Fudge, sickles. I am over this. I am over this. Look at how much we sold today, you guys. Like, seriously, we sold so freaking much. I'm really excited that we did a good job. Okay, I'm literally going to close out now. I'm done. I'm done. Anybody else who wants to... What are you doing? Jem and Christine are totally dancing with each other right now. <laughs> oh, my God. We keep selling. Okay. Uh, where is this Kimberly chick? What are you doing? You are not allowed in my house. I mean, what? All right, whatever. We're going to ring up this one last chick, and then we'll leave. I'm sorry. This is, like, fun, actually. Ringing up all these people. I'm having a blast. All right, so that's it. Nyla's going to ring up this chick. Or is she? I don't know, because Nyla's too busy sitting here picking her nose. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I, I swear to you, every time we're just about to close up shop, every time. Every time. Okay, cool. All right, I don't care. Anybody else is going to buy. We're going to go ahead and close the store. We were going to close, you guys, at like 3 o'clock, which was a beautiful day. Um, a beautiful, beautiful day. But let's just go. Oop, no, we're not going to transfer retail funds. But let's go and do what we need to do here. Okay, so we actually earned um, $1,700 today. So that's pretty damn good, if you ask me. So I'm going to have these ladies go ahead and head home now. We did a really, really good day of work, but now the fun part is restocking everything. That is going to, um, go ahead and kind of put a negative into it, but actually I want to look at our store perks right now. All right, so our 50, we have a 50%, uh, markup. We have, um, where are our perks at? Okay, a perk point. So these are our perk points right now. We can do a snazzy shirt, register of tomorrow. Um, what else do we got? Uh, the store supplier ordered too much inventory. The temporary reducing prices. Uh, the cost of restocking items will be reduced for 12 hours and then can be purchased again in the future. Um, restocking faster. Um, faster checkouts. That would be great. We need to like get some of these serious shopper oh okay so once we get more of these um little perk points or whatever we can actually earn um or earn a lot more 
different like bonuses and whatever like to make things a little bit easier when you're running the store um christine is absolutely freaking tired she's going to be in her third trimester in about 11 hours it's nine o'clock the girls have had such a busy day we can really only open the stores on the who the hell are you danny <gasps> is your name danny wheeler like from your name's Danny Wheeler. No, no, Nyla, you are not going home, boo boo. This is, is this seriously happening right now? This is like Danny Wheeler from, um, uh, the baby's daddy thing. It's a show. Oh my God. He is so, he is fine. You would say I'm fine, Mr. Danny Wheeler. Oh my God. You are so sexy. Could I just age her up right now? I think she's found. No, I'm dead serious. She found future hubby right there. That's him that's him that is him that is him he is so damn cute oh what is your career boo boo i'm serious he is absolutely flipping gorgeous um okay so he works as an oh my god you're an danny oh my god you're why what did i did you just freaking rip butt oh my god i thought she just farted so sick well danny i'm gonna be like a big girl in a couple weeks so like i'm gonna hit you up okay you are so sexy so sexy i like really do like D uh danny wheeler and baby daddy so <gasps> perfect oh my god could you imagine him like as a scientist or a doctor oh he's so cute all right nyla her stench is blazing a trail here guys okay so um i'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap up this part right here i hope you guys enjoyed it wasn't too dramatic or anything but uh it was a lot of fun um kind of playing with the store and i hope you guys enjoyed Remember, we'll probably only open up the stores on weekends um, or maybe just like a couple times through the week. And that is just because we just don't have too, 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 too much time. So obviously when we're there, like at the weekends and stuff, we've got to, we got to sell kind of big. All right. We've got Boo Boo here. He's sleeping. I wonder how he did at work today. Um, it looks like he did pretty good. So we'll obviously uh, have him go to work again tomorrow. Probably have to run the store tomorrow. Freaking Christine is going to have her baby like any moment now. Um, well, not really any moment, but she's going to be having him or her tomorrow, tomorrow. I don't love you. You spent all my money. <laughs> oh, I ain't saying she a gold digger. Mm, mm, but she ain't missing what no broke, broke simmers. I'm just playing. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below where Christine Snatch is not shining right now. All right. And I will see you all later. That was gross. <laughs> Sorry. Bye.